and what state to go. Don't head to a coastal state. Get away from the east coast. Get away from the west coast. Uh, get away from the north because a lot of Russians will be coming over from Canada down into America. So I wouldn't want to be on the, the northern border either. Uh, I would just be heading south. South, south as in South America if you could. If you're like me and you're just going to be here until uh, things hit the fan, uh, you know, just wherever the Lord will lead you. Ask Him to lead you where to go. Uh, a lot of people paranoid about this stuff coming up. I have no fear of it. Uh, I just, uh, you know, when it happens, it's always going to be at the wrong time, folks. So <laughs> just be prepared and let the Lord leave you. Perfect love casts out fear. So if you, so if this information makes you fearful, uh, then learn to love Him more and depend on Him more. Uh, because perfect love casts out fear. Uh, let me get to some more. Uh, the missing bee thing. I don't have anything more on the missing bees. Um, you know, I think I said on the last show that uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they were just being abducted <laughs> the a huge alien vacuum of some sort because uh, they've never shown up, you know. Their bodies have never shown up. And so where's all these bee clumps of bodies? Uh, if they've just died or been misled somewhere. I've heard it's, with regard to Leo Wana, I've heard it's up to have $70 trillion of his, he has $70 trillion that the, the Bush faction is trying to get their money, their hands on. And so this Leo Wanta, uh, $70 trillion for this Nasera agenda. Uh, and so how could anybody believe that he is going to help bring in the kingdom of God on earth? Why would God, uh, how, how could God be held back? Uh, by a government. <laughs> do you really think you're gonna? The, do you really think the, that the Lord, the Most High, when He gets ready to come to Earth, is gonna ask for a government's permission first? <laughs> Tell these people that follow this the Sarah crowd. It's just ludicrous. Uh, wanted to bring up something from last week. Was hearing from listeners who were being harassed by a military base in Ohio while they were listening to my show. And their computer was being hacked into. Uh, and so the only one I can think of is the one over in Dayton. And you would think they had some aliens to autopsy or something over there. I don't know why they'd be, why they'd be worried about my show. Uh, the Wright, uh, Wright, uh, Wright Patterson Air Force Base over in Dayton, Ohio. That's about the only real military base I can't even think of right now that's in Ohio. We don't really have a lot of bases here. I mean, if there's a lot of military planes, I get harassed by them all the time. Uh, but I don't know of any bases <laughs> other than Dayton. And so why they're attacking people, I don't know. Uh, trying to hack into people's computers. Um, I don't know. But it happens. Um, suddenly having a cop car behind them. Uh, I don't know. They're probably just tracking you down. Uh, what happens to a lot of people on the Internet uh, is that as soon as you start visiting certain websites and your eyes start opening to the truth about the New World Order, they start tailgating and tracking you down and putting you under surveillance. It's like they're building their files. You know, I always said it would be so much easier if these agencies would share their information so instead of having 17 different federal agencies building files on you, they would just have one. <laughs> I used to go through that all the time years ago. Uh, questions from readers. With all this stuff going on, how in the heck can such a huge secret from the world for this long, especially with all the human involvement, behind the scenes say secret? Uh... You know, it hasn't been secret. We've just been too busy doing everything else than paying attention. You know, and that's what the Lord said. You know, the last days would be as the days of Noah, where people are just uh, mar getting married and partying and, and drunk with their pleasures. or have their, their sports, their, their entertainment, uh, their possessions. They're not thinking of, of what's going on uh, around them. They're just busy enjoying the world. I mean, they're, 
uh, you know, that's, and that's how it's going to be the last days. Uh, people are going to be going to work and going to Walmart, and the next thing you know, you've got Chinese soldiers sitting in your yard waiting to hire you off to a death camp. So that's how it's going to be, folks. It hasn't been quiet. When you start looking uh, in the skies, and you start looking at all the information around you, and with the advent of the Internet, uh, there's so much to learn now about what the government's been up to. I know I wouldn't have known half of this stuff I learned without the Internet, not out having privy to the information from people like Fritz Springmeier and William Cooper and Phil Snyder. Uh, people who have died to get this information out. And that's another thing. Uh, that's why information is so hard to come by, because people die over this. You know, people, uh, CIA will target people and, and kill them, the NSA. Uh, and so some of them are under the protection of the Lord, and sometimes the Lord lets others come home. Uh, and so that's just the difference. Uh, ask your government why they're killing patriots, why they kill people to keep them silent. Uh, how can we get you another one? Has some possibly this weekend. Uh, you, you seem to have a lot of knowledge that you say you get directly from God without sounding in any way rude, because I very much respect what you have to say. How can it be the case if you're the only one who has such in-depth information to the degree you speak it? I'm not the only one. I'm just a big mouth. <laughs> I am not the only one with this type of information and knowledge. I hear from other, other people all the time. But you know what? The Lord's people are, are we're not the famous and the wealthy. We're the just the small, we're the hometowners, we're the housewives, we're senior citizens, we're middle-aged, we're children. We're all over the place. We're not a fame or fortune or name. And so that's why uh, the information that we have takes a long time to get out. Uh, you're not going to see somebody with the kind of information I have uh, get on TBN. <laughs> Or Coast to Coast Radio, for that matter. They won't even let me on that show. They don't want the truth, folks. They like their illusions. People like their illusions. Uh, another question from a reader. God said that dominion on earth was granted to genetic humans. Is this why the adversaries fixated on having human bodies, even if they're hybrids? Well, they want the human bodies also so that they can cohabitate on this earth. Uh, they like human bodies. They need our bodies for some reason. Uh, they can't exactly be who they are now. Uh, of course, I think during the tribulation period, they won't care if they have a human body or not. They'll just be here. Uh, but for now, I mean, these, these reptilians, these aliens that are running and controlling our government need to disguise themselves as humans. That's what they can. Uh, even celebrities and musicians and, and all these top reptilians and top human positions on Earth, they look very human. You can't tell them apart. Uh, even the hybrids, you can't tell exactly who was, a, who was a human and who was a hybrid. And that's why the Bible calls them the wheat and tares and says the angels will separate them at the end of the days. Uh, because you can't tell them apart. You couldn't tell a wheat and a tear apart. It was very hard. Very few differences you could tell. Uh, and so that was the parable he gave us about it. And it will be the angels to separate them. Uh, come up from a reader. Maybe they're just trying to spook you. <laughs> Gee, that's that's worked in seven years. <laughs> Not easily spooked, folks. In fact, I'm planning a huge road trip. <laughs> uh, so, you know, they want to bother me. I'll just put up another website. <laughs> But I've always done. That's why I have so many. I want to bring up another thing. Is I lost the domain for tearingdownstrongholds.com. And so the main Oregon site will now be at orgonblasters.com. Uh, I lost that domain and I lost several others. I lost Islam Lies. I lost Talmud Lies. I lost Crystal City Fraud. I lost like ten domain names. And somehow I hadn't even put websites on uh, through because of Register Fly. And there's not a thing I can do about it to complain. Uh, and so, uh, fault of my own, and then there's no fault of my own. It was just an oversight of mine, and then, you know, just just putting stuff on automatic renewal, and then it not working, and the domain's not being automatically renewed. And I know I'd paid for some of these domains into 2009, and here they telling me they expired. And so it's just a big mess, and I'm going to fight with them on it. Of course, they're not returning emails anyway. <laughs> 